Hello guys, welcome to Civil 3 2026 Fundamentals Training. I'm Raghun Gautman, I'm your trainer. So let's have a brief introduction about myself and the training and Civil 3D. So I finished my civil engineering in 2025 and from that point onwards, I traveled with AutoCAD and Autodesk related products for quite some time. And uh, initially I started doing AutoCAD 2D and then 3D and um, then I started going into Revit and then I started Civil 3D. Civil 3D, I started around 2009 probably and uh, I've been traveling with Civil 3D since then. I work with a lot of other product suites from Autodesk as well and even from other vendors. Most cases I'll travel around Vault, Autodesk, um, Civil 3D, AutoCAD and uh, Fusion 360, Blue, Bim, and all of these products. Uh, Navis Works, InfraWorks, you can name it. So I travel with all of these Autodesk products. Apart from that, my experience spans around to multiple industries as well, from technical um, uh, speaking to um, telecommunications uh, to facade engineering. So I, I worked in a lot of other industries as well. So when it comes to civil 3D, so I was um, authorized as uh, Autodesk civil 3D trainer and um, for almost like uh, seven, eight years. Um, and I was doing a lot of uh, training courses globally uh, and also within Australia. I was one of the lead trainer for Australian Autodesk um, uh, top resellers and I've done over 200 trainings in Civil 3D. Okay, so now looking at the course today, so Civil 3D is um, one program that I being a civil engineer, uh, it gets you to a, to, a, to a very good spot because uh, most of the CAD programs, if you look at it, um, they will have the CAD element where you can do the basic drafting and design and most cases it stops there. And uh, but what Civil 3D does, which is special to most of the other softwares you don't do is like uh, it combines a combination of AutoCAD. It has got a, a feature where it actually can completely turn, turn Civil 3D into a standard AutoCAD or even going into AutoCAD 3D or even a map 3D. So you can see like it is a software which has got uh, other softwares inside. So it can transform from AutoCAD to Civil 3D uh, with just a click of a button and not just the user interface, even the workflows. I mean, like when you, you can actually have 2D um, layouts and plans and things like that, along with your 3D elements such as corridors and pipelines and surfaces. So, um, so it's a very nice software which combines both 2D and 3D. And that is exactly what we as civil engineers wanted. Because when we do road designs, when we do pipe networks, and when we do subdivisioning parcels and all of these works, Works. most cases what we want is like sometimes it's just a plan view to understand what is happening because that is what we take it on paper to the field and where the, there is no 3d things that we take it in there and when we work and design we want it in 3d so civil 3d does both of those things which is very unique for most of the other products in the similar segments and apart from that civil 3d is also beam capable so that means you can actually give a uh, beam deliveries for um for any civil infrastructure project. So that means you can do documentation and you can actually uh, share information. And there is a data standards, which we will talk in this course and how we can share some pro pro project information to another project and things like that. So, um, so Civil 3D is a pretty nice product and uh, it can also talk to other products as well. It has got backward compatibility. It can talk to Revit, it can talk to um, 3ds Max, Civil View, and it can talk to InfraWorks. It can talk to a wide variety of programs as well. So uh, learning civil 3D being a civil engineer is something pretty uh, useful and um, you can get a uh, job markets in uh, Australia, US, UK, Canada and a lot of other places as well. All right, so uh, we'll get started. And as we go, we will also see some of the other things uh, within civil 3D and uh, what are the other things that you should actually study such as subassembly composer and um, uh, storm and sanitary analysis and stuff, which we would not be covering in this course, uh, but probably, you know, if we get time permits and probably we'll do it as a separate course. All right, so we'll get started. And um, if you guys have any questions, just put it forth. And